You can probably guess what this kind of weird looking map is showing. I started with a standard world map and I gave each country one hexagon for every million people. That means countries with lower densities shrink and those with higher densities bulk up. Countries and territories with less than 500,000 people don't get any hexagons. This is all based on population estimates from the UN. It was really tricky to preserve the shapes and relative positions of the countries. I had to inflate Italy, Russia is shrunk way down, and India barely fits on the map. But this is the final product. This is what happens when you resize countries based on their population. And here's the fun part. I made a whole series of these maps going 80 years into the future and deep into the past using more estimates from the history database of the global environment. 12,000 years ago, North America, South America, and Asia had over a million people. And just a few centuries later, Europe passed 500,000 so we can round up. Then we can add Africa, and eventually the collection of island nations we call Oceania. By year zero, about two thirds of the population lives in Asia, and the places we now call India and China are already major population centers. In the 14th century, you can see how many people died as the plague swept across Europe. And in the 16th, how many people died during the colonization of the Americas. At 1900, let's break things down by country. Obviously, borders have changed since then, but this shows the number of people that were inside this country's current borders. The biggest populations are in China, India, the US, Russia, and Germany. What comes next is explosive population growth, which brings us back to 2020. So what happens next? I'm about to show you the UN's so-called medium projection, but that's just one possible future scenario. Right now, people are arguing about whether we should be trying to have more babies or fewer. Joss and I randomly chose sides and debated that very topic in our latest video, which is pinned in the comments. But right now, here's one possible future scenario that the UN thinks is pretty likely. We'll grow for another few decades and then start shrinking. By the end of the century, China is less than half its current size, but still the second most populous country on earth. Nigeria and the Democratic Republic of Congo have entered the top five, a sign of Africa's growth over the 21st century. You can find stills and a horizontal version of this video, which I think looks better, over on our Patreon.